Hello everybody, welcome back to All Coin Buzz Trading. Welcome to your choppy Bitcoin market. Bitcoin uh, took out some lows over the past several days. We undercut this low right there, put in a hammer candle, subsequently rallied a, a little bit, came back to resistance, stalled there, and now we're just chopping lower at the moment, not doing a lot of constructive action, unfortunately. Um, one good thing is there's a higher low here. The question is, will that be sustained? I have a small alert here at the 58504 just to see what it's doing up here not really to buy this at all but just to see what this is doing uh as it tries to get up here will it fail up here or will it just roll right over before it even hits that most of the market right now very choppy a little wider and looser um that's not good higher or lower you'd, you'd prefer some kind of a high flagging tight action but we're not getting that we're getting a lower consolidation on the daily time frame and uh really not a lot of volume to go with it. So there's a little bit of buying pressure down here, but buying pressure in lows like this, you know, is also sometimes short covering. It's not necessarily accumulation. Accumulation is taking fresh money, buying the asset and holding the asset. Short covering is when you have a short position up here where you're shorting it. When it gets down to a level, you start covering that short and now you're cash. So you did take some liquidity uh, and put it kind of back into the market a little bit, but you're not anticipating buying anymore. You're just waiting for the next trade. And I think that's the tact that most people should be taking right now is waiting for the next trade, which right now could be looking for a short because our, our bias is to the downside at this point or, um, or just waiting for the next signal, which we don't have yet. So there's really not much to do at this point in time. So uh, very tricky. If you're actively trading, if you're thinking, oh, this is a bull flag, Bitcoin's going to go, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I wish you luck. And it's very hard to make money in this environment. Um, if you're good in this environment, I think that's amazing. Good for you. It's not something I'm good at. It's not something I really want to be good at. It's very difficult trading is really what it is. It's hard. It's very hard to make money uh, in the markets as it is, let alone compounding it in uh, uncertain market direction on top of things. That's a good way to put that. All right. Uh, next up is our hot coins of the day. For, and the first one up is not, which is I think number 50 on CoinGecko. And I am not familiar with this token. I have seen it before though. And it looks like it uh, broke a nice little trend line here. This one, this is a bit of a different, this is different than all the other coins in the market. You have a nice move up here. You have a nice little flag that goes on to a beautiful expansion volume accelerating uh, tremendously small little pullback here now we're trying to go for it again volume is good um this is a pretty good looking token i gotta say i like the way this looks right now um if you want it it's a little bit extended 4.8 percent it's a little bit on the cusp a little bit extended your stop would ideally be underneath all of this which is 22 percent you can't do that can't do not even with a half position size eight percent should be your max stop loss so if you have a 22 percent stop you take a half position that's still an 11% stop. So, um, yeah. In interestingly, though, this coin actually looks good. We'll see if this can be the only thing to buck the market trend. Maybe, maybe not. Is a high quality token. I'll actually have to look into this, and I, I haven't looked into this at all. Um, but this looks relatively good compared to everything else in the market. But uh, even still, a little bit of caution do with these types of names in this market environment. And then Chainlink. Um, Chainlink is the other one that is, I think it's number 11, something like that. And it's looking a little bit better than most coins. Still not great, though. Still not something that uh, I'd be comfortable putting any money into right now underneath this trend line. And just a you know, little wider and looser down here uh, and still not a trend reversal. We do have the hammer candle, which is good. And it's good to know that. But again, looking for a trend reversal, looking for tight action, looking for something to say the sellers are gone. Um, and you can't say the sellers are gone after one or two candles, especially after this type of a route to the downside. It takes a little bit of time to build that confidence. This last time before we moved up, you can see here it took about two months. It takes a while to get that confidence back. And right now it's not something that we have. All right, ladies and gentlemen, be safe out there today. And I will see you tomorrow on Altcoin Buzz Trading.